The foundation of text in Word 2010 is simple. Just click where you want your text and type. If you make a mistake like I did, that's okay. You can use backspace or delete to fix it. There may be a time when you need to work with the text that's already in your document, maybe to copy and paste it or to move it to a different location. The first thing you need to know is how to select text. The text I'd like to select here is at AdWorks in the first sentence of the sales report I'm working on. Just click, hold, and drag your mouse over the text, then let go. See how it's highlighted blue? That means the text is selected. And this little box is the hover toolbar, which gives you access to the formatting options we go over in another lesson. Let's try copy and paste now that we have our text selected. Just click copy, choose where you want the text to go, then paste. You can also get to these commands by right clicking in the document. For example, to cut and paste, select your text, now right click, then choose cut. The original text will disappear and you'll be able to paste it anywhere you want by right clicking again. The paste options determine how it's going to look, ranging from exactly like the original to the same text but without any formatting. I'm going to keep the formatting because I like how the company name sort of has its own look. If you want to move a selection of text from one place to another, you can use the drag and drop technique. First select the text, now click, hold, and drag it where you want it to go. If it ends up somewhere other than what you had in mind, you can hit enter to move it to a new line. There, that looks good. Finally, in a long document like this one, I sometimes have trouble finding a specific word or phrase I know is in there somewhere. The Find feature can help by searching the document for you. Click Find in the upper right. Type the word or phrase you're looking for here. And the results will show up below and be highlighted yellow. You can choose Replace instead to find text but replace it with something else. I actually need to change the month on this report from January to February. Now click Find Next and Replace. Replace All can save even more time by changing every instance in the document automatically. Now you know the basics, including cut, copy, and paste, drag and drop, and find and replace. Everything you need to work with text in Word 2010. Like what you just saw? Rate it. Add a comment. Subscribe to our channel. The freedom to learn. What you want, when you want. Absolutely free. GCF, learnfree.org.